Hey you guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company. Today we are making super quick, cheap and easy DIYs using Amazon window clings. I ordered this huge pack of window clings from Amazon. It even came with a little picture of how you could put this together on a window, but we're not gonna do that. We are gonna make all kinds of fun Christmas DIYs using these. If you love budget-friendly DIY design and decor, I really hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button so you know every time we upload a video. This right here, my friends, is why I save things. I have had this hutch door sitting in my garage for far too long. It is like 40 inches tall. It is a beautiful glass door that I took off a hutch I painted years ago. And now we're gonna give it a quick sand and paint it in the Rust-Oleum chalked paint in charcoal. This is a gorgeous, rich gray. I love the matte finish on this paint and it is so easy to use. I did about one and a half coats on this, one and a half rather than two, because it really just needed some touch-ups in certain places. My inspiration for this has been sitting in my Pinterest board for years. I have always wanted to do this in like a living room or patio door and just never got around to it. So when I ordered these window clings and they come in all kinds of sizes, I decided I could make a beautiful piece of home decor using my old hutch door and these clings. So what I did was go through and kind of arrange the large and the medium ones, and then I'm gonna fill in with the small ones. The hardest part about this DIY, you guys, is getting them off the backing paper. Now I went ahead and used this garden stake to make sure I was getting a nice tree shape and I wasn't kind of going all over the place. The absolute beauty of using these clings is if I wanted to rearrange any, it was super easy to do. And I did end up doing that just a couple of times where I found I had two very similar snowflakes side by side, or there was a couple of times when I moved a couple of the larger ones to get a better layout. Now my goal was not to overthink this to death and go for a really random look, but I don't know about you guys, but when I go for random, it always seems like way more work. And this was no different, which is why, of course, I ended up moving a few of them around. I had so much fun doing this though. It was great to fill in the small spaces with some really pretty tiny snowflakes. When I was happy with my layout, I took my Cricut scraper and just very gently pushed them onto the glass just to make sure I had a really good seal and these wouldn't be peeling up as I had it hanging on the wall. There is one project every video that I fall head over heels in love with, and I am telling you without a doubt, it is this one. I put this one in my bedroom just so I could stage it against a dark wall and you could really see it, and I'm pretty sure it's staying here for the holidays. And even better yet, I'm pretty sure it's staying here for the winter. This one does not even qualify as super cheap, quick, and easy because it is super quick. I just found three of these Dollar Tree frames. I had them in my stash from the spring. And the hardest part here is taking the glass out without breaking it. You guys know Dollar Tree glass is so thin. So if you use these frames, be very, very careful. What I did once I had them apart was clean the glass and then all I'm doing is sandwiching one snowflake between the two pieces of glass and putting the frame back together. Like I said, make sure when you clean the glass, don't put your fingerprints all over it. I actually did that the first time and had to clean it again. And that took longer than this entire DIY. Now you could do this with three snowflakes the same. You could do a whole bunch of snow, really tiny ones. I did three the same size, but completely different. And 
Oh my goodness, I love these. I grabbed one of these gorgeous red chargers from Dollar Tree and we are simply going to take one of the larger clings, which is actually an ornament shape, but it has the most beautiful detailing on it. It almost has a lace-like effect, except all of those details are little snowflakes or winter elements and I absolutely loved it and it fit perfectly on the center of this charger. I'm gonna add some greenery at the top. We're gonna to make a really pretty bow, and this is another one that's going to be finished before you know it. For my bow, I am using a really pretty burlap ribbon that's only printed on one side. So I wanna show you really quickly how I make my twisted bows. Once I get the first loop done and the right size, I'm going to twist the ribbon, make another loop, twist it again at the center and make another loop. And then I'm going to add a piece on the back to make a couple of tails. Now this is essentially what Rebecca Robeson does on hers and she's got a great tutorial on how to make bows. And you know who else makes great bows? Wendy over at White Sparrow Living. So if you're ever looking for a bow tutorial, go and check her out. Tell her I said hello because I have learned so many great tips on bow making from her. Plus she's the sweetest thing in the world. Once those ends are dovetailed, just to make them look really pretty and finished, I'm going to futz around with my bow for a little bit until I get just the right shape I'm looking for, and that is the best part about using wired ribbon. I'm going to stick that down in the center, add a pine cone, and this project is done too. What do you think, you guys? I think we are building a beautiful collection with these window clings. I love using these Dollar Tree glass candles, which we are now paying $1.50 for in Canada to do really fun and easy projects. So this one is no different. One of the elements that came with this was like a trim. So it would look like the ornaments were hanging from like a trim at the top. So I'm gonna use one of those pieces around the top of the candle and it fit just perfectly. And then there's like a beaded piece that hangs down from that and then I'll hang my ornament. Before I add that ornament hanger, I'm going to put the cling on and try and get it perfectly centered on here. This is a smaller version of the one we just used on that Dollar Tree charger, and it's building a beautiful collection. So I tried to line it up right underneath the space where the hanger would go. Now I'm going to trim the hanger so it's just the right size. And as I was doing it, I literally thought, what if I cut this one bead too short? Now that I've added that, I can rearrange my ornament cling and get it in exactly the right spot. And this one, yep, is just about done. I added a really tiny piece of gingham ribbon up at the top just to finish it off. And I love the way this came out and it looks so pretty beside the charger plate. You guys don't forget to join me over on Instagram at Lisa and Company DIY where I share all kinds of behind the scenes. I share shopping hauls, things I get up to with Izzy and my mom. Make sure you hop on over there. I think it's always a good idea to have a couple of extra gifts on hand just in case. So I picked up these really cute jars from my dollar store filled them with Swedish berries, yum, even had a couple left over, and I am simply going to put one of the tiny snowflakes on the front and then embellish it a little bit. You could put snowflakes all the way around this jar. You could use the little tiny snowdrops. These clings are so much fun and so easy to work with. This would be a fun project to do with kids or grandkids, and like I said, really easy because they're window clings, no glue, 
no muss, no fuss, and really easy. I'm gonna take that same gingham ribbon and use that to make what Wendy at White Sparrow calls a perky bow. This is where you wrap the ribbon around a few times, make a couple of little snips in the side so you can manipulate that ribbon. I use wire for mine. She always uses chenille stems. And then you are able to fluff that out so pretty. I'm just gonna glue that onto the lid and this is done. Pop it away in the pantry just in case somebody drops by and I wanna put a little something in their hands for the holidays. This would also be a great addition if you were giving someone a gift card. It's always nice to have a little something to wrap up when you're giving someone a card rather than just sticking it in an envelope. I hope you guys are enjoying these super quick, cheap and easy projects. I love it as a way to use up things I have in my stash, like all these jars and bits and pieces. All right, time to make a big project, but really easy. I picked up this board from my Habitat Restore. It was already painted black and it doesn't get much easier than that. I am taking the words Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, as well as all the Christmas trees that came off of this window clings set, and I am going to rearrange them and make a really pretty sign. Now, believe it or not, I didn't use any of the snowflakes on this one, but I did use a few of the, I keep calling them snow drops. They're just the round circles that came with it. Now, I wanted to make sure that my Merry Christmas was right in the center of my sign. And for this one, I will be putting it down with Mod Podge because I don't want it to come off. We're gonna use a bigger brush just because we've got a lot of ground to cover with this. I put the Mod Podge down approximately where I was putting the clings and then used my finger to try and press them into the Mod Podge a little bit. I did go over with my brush and brush them in and really try to make sure I was sealing them down to the board. Once this is dry, I will come back and put a layer of Mod Podge over the entire thing in order to finish it off. To make this sign like a true winter wonderland, I am going to dry brush a whole bunch of the white chalked paint all over this. Now I'm going to focus my chalked paint more to the edges than in the middle. I want it to look like lots of blowing snow and give it a real great farmhouse vintage vibe, but I don't want you to not be able to see what's going on here. So I'm just gonna keep dry brushing that over until I'm happy with the results. Now this was actually the first project I did for this video and I wish I paid a little bit more attention when I pressed the window clings into the Mod Podge. I did have a few bubbles that you can kind of see. It's okay, it doesn't really bother me and it's really actually hard to tell on the video, but I would have pressed those down just a little bit more for a little bit more consistent finish. So this is one of those times when you guys get to learn from my mistakes. I can't wait to get this sign hung in the dining room for the holidays. One more really quick project, but a little bit different. I love these jars from Dollar Tree with the screw off plastic lid. And when I saw these double bubble snowball gums, I had a total childhood flashback. Believe it or not, two whole bags did not fill this jar. So I guess I'm gonna have to go pick up some more. Now I had the words Merry Christmas left over on here and I couldn't Think of something else I wanted to use them for and then I thought wouldn't this look neat wrapped around the jar I just thought it was a little bit different than having something just on one side so it had kind of a really neat graphic appeal a little bit more simple a little bit less farmhouse 
The two words fit absolutely perfectly together around the jar. And like I said, I love the look when it was all finished, but I couldn't just leave it like that. I decided it needed just a little something around the top. So I took this great ribbon that I recently picked up at the dollar store. It is like a thin burlap ribbon with snowflakes on it. What could be more perfect for this video. I am just going to wrap it around the top and do a quick little shoelace bow and let it hang there. And I hung it off to the side. So again, it was offset. And I just loved the sort of simple, really casual look to this DIY. All the kids in our family are grown up, but what do you want to bet if I leave this out on the tray in the living room, they're going to be into this snowball gum. I'll let you know how that goes. I really hope you guys enjoyed another round of super quick, cheap and easy DIYs for the holidays. Stay tuned because we will be doing some more of these. I do have an awful lot of snowflakes left so I could do all kinds of great projects. Don't forget to head on down to the comments and tell me which one you liked best and better yet, if you might make some of these yourself. I am doing my best to keep up with your comments, you guys. I absolutely love reading them. Here's a couple more videos I would love for you to check out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this kind of content because it really helps my channel grow. Until then, you guys, we will see you in the next video. And thank you so much for stopping by Lisa and Company.